So I thought maybe a different perspective on the SATs might be called for because traditionally you have the students who come in, they file in, they sit down, and they take the SATs. This is the opposite side of the desk. I am an SAT proctor, officially taken and done the coursework, uh, watched the videos, so this is what I do. My job is to make sure that the room is set up and desks are separated because you have um, each different books and they go section by section. There's a total of 10 segments all together for the SATs. The first uh, seven are 25 minutes long, so they can be either math or language based. The very first one's the essay, so the kids sit and they write and write and write, uh, and they have to write legibly and only in the selected spots. Uh, after those 25 minutes are up, then it then uh, then as I mentioned, it breaks down into either math or English. So that would make it six sections. So it's either English or it is math, and it could be the kid uh, sitting here has English and this kid has math, and that helps to keep down on um, cheating and things like that. So uh, the kids, they file in, they're taking their tests, and while they're doing that, my job is to make sure, and I have to take detailed notes, believe it or not, as the proctor, I have to write down where everybody is and where all the booklets are in case there's any irregularities, if anything goes wrong and things like that, and it is a pretty big deal. So. I fill all that stuff out, they take their tests, we go through all the sections until the last three. There's um, sections uh, eight to nine are only 20 minutes long, and section 10 is 10 minutes long. So it actually makes for a very long day. So you file into the building, you come in about 7.30 is when you should get here, and the test starts at eight, and then you just, you're here for the entire morning. It's like start to finish. So um, there are breaks in between. So every two sections, you get a five minute break, but I have to check IDs and tickets. It's, it's like getting pulled over. You know, you have to show your admission ticket and you have to show your driver's license. You can show your student ID, but it has to have your picture on it. So the pictures have to match, um, which is kind of a, a, a lot. It makes me feel like I'm the bouncer for the SAT. So I stand and every single time you leave the room, every single time you come back, I have to file and make sure that every single kid is who they say they are just to keep the, the test site secure. So that's how that entire process works out. Um, so sometimes the breaks don't even seem worth it because, you know, you have to wait and file in and I have to stand and check and check and check and everyone takes their seats again. Um, for the most part, for me, it's just a lot of reading. I just have to talk and mention things like, um, you know, if you have a calculator section, calculators can be out. If you don't, it has to be underneath your desk. Um, but for the most part, the kids just sit and work. I've noticed that for the most part, um, kids are able to finish, but every once in a while you have kids who just plain don't finish sections. So I think if I were to offer any level of strategy for taking the SATs, I would say to just um, work hard and diligently for as long as you possibly can, uh, get a good night rest before, and have breakfast. So those are the, the big things I think uh, are very important. And of course it wouldn't hurt to study because I, I understand the vocab is kind of killer on these things.